Hey guys, it's Fish, and I'm back with another episode of Hearts of Iron 4. And in the last episode, we, we seem to have run into a few problems, and, and I don't know if it's uh, something I've created myself or something that's just inherently with the game, but uh, we pretty much got blocked from uh, well, fabricating on anyone. So we started to fabricate on uh, Romania, and the French guaranteed them. And then, did we do this one? Yep. So we did Yugoslavia, same thing happened. Uh, Albania, uh, the, Fr uh, the Italians have guaranteed them because they're going to take them over. And that's pretty much left us with no one to attack, except for Turkey by looks of it. Um, and it seems like uh, fabricating on people uh, when you're a fascist and world tension has gotten above 25%, uh, they start telling, or they start uh, guaranteeing anyone who's being fabricated on to try and prevent the war. Uh, that's problematic for me because I really, really need to get access to a fabrication so I can actually war on them uh, because I do want to start getting some more territorial gains because right now this is not enough. I'm going to I can't take on Turkey at the moment because look, they've got uh, anywhere from 30 to 59 divisions whereas I only have... How many do I have? Well, down here, 17. No, 27. Cannot count. So, I don't even have enough. Although, there may be a way that I can get them to advance up into here, hold the line on this province, and then this province, and then maybe encircle them if I can force enough of their troops to come up through this, uh, through this gap. So, they might have to come up through to here even, or maybe even let them further in. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so that might be uh, a way to advance uh, my own interests because Turkey does have a lot of stuff. If we have a look at the resource map, they have a lot of chromium. And they have a little bit of steel as well, which I'm definitely in need of. Now, the other thing is that this guarantee system, it does get more expensive for every person they guarantee. So they may stop guaranteeing people very, very soon. Uh, but... Uh, there's no guarantee on that, but we may have to start going into Turkey uh, or be prepared to do that. Uh, the other thing is that because I set Germany as non-historical, uh, doesn't look like they're going down the Anschluss rate. Uh, well, here we go. Uh, they're working on Anschluss at the moment, but will they? Well, obviously they're ready to go for it. But they haven't done any of the Sudetenland. Uh, so will they go to war? I need the French to be distracted so that I can take the rest of Europe. And I don't know if that's even going to be a possibility. But anyway, that's enough of that. Let's continue on and see if we can do something with what we've got. We've got a few more fighters. Not that I'm really too fussed about that. Um, I'm happy to let that just go and do its thing. How's our research going? We're almost done with construction too. Did we turn the music off? I don't hear any music. I don't think I did. No. Oh no, I can hear it now. Okay. It just took a bit of time to get started. There was a bit of a quiet bit in there. Last thing I want is uh, a no music episode for you guys because that would be boring. So I pretty much need to get up into here. There we go. Bit of construction. Deploy units. Okay, so we can deploy these guys. Oh, they don't have a location. Okay, so we'll just deploy them all. Deployment ready to deploy. Uh, click to set a right click to reset the location. Did I not? How do I deploy them then? Because they've got max training. Let's just set them as Thrace, so that'll deploy there. There we go, there's our five. And I think we will set three, four... Who are we going to make stronger? We were going to make, I think, this army here stronger. And so that's the 15. So I think we're going to put three there and two there. So that can be a weaker um, front. Set him... Set all 18 divisions there, set all 14 divisions there, and let them go off, and they're going to do their thing. Now, the other thing we're working... Oh, yeah, research. We almost forgot about doing that. Okay, we're ahead on that. Uh, do we want some excavation? 
Uh, we're already working on that one. Because we will need some synthetic oil, I think. Because oil and rubber is very, very hard to come by. In this game for some countries. So if you're not in Asia, if you don't have colonies in Asia, it actually makes it really, really hard to get rubber because no one else uh, will give it to you, especially once you go to war. So once that Anschluss happens, hopefully Germany becomes a little bit more aggressive because I do need them to become a bit more aggressive. Do we want resource gain? I think we do. A bit 10% 10, 10 more resource gain efficiency. Now I don't know if that's resource gain or resource gain efficiency. What else do we have? We might want to work on radios as well. We're ahead on that. Uh, we don't need to worry about aircraft too much because at this stage I haven't even done... Oh, I haven't even done any research into fighters. The only reason I have fighters is because of... Uh, because of the country that I attacked, Bulgaria. Or Bulgaria, sorry. I'm not too fussed about the naval side of things. Now, mobile warfare... Well, trench warfare, that's really good for entrenchment, but this, this max planning is actually really, really good. Superior firepower. Soft attack, well, that's that's definitely something we need to worry about. Uh, more organisation, because organisation is what determines the majority of battles in this game. Uh, defence. It all seems to be based around defence. Doctrine focuses on selling, sh throwing shells, not men, and that's something we definitely need to worry about. Uh, the other thing we need to worry about is uh, field hops hospitals, because um, we want to try and maximise our manpower. Yeah, I think we're going to work on that motorised so that we don't uh, we can get uh, field hospitals. All right, cool. Let that go ahead. They're all making their way into position. Um, are they still? Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, the Angelus has happened. Let's go and have a look at it. That should hopefully keep France busy. And Zog submits, and so now I have a border with Italy. Let's have a look and see if we can get a bit more decent. Whoa, 44 divisions now. They are punching those divisions up. Oh. Actually... I think that was why I was waiting on doing the motorized to get a 75% bonus. Does that speed it up? I'm going to try... Can I cancel it? I can't. <clears throat> That's just cost me a lot of time, actually. I was trying to get a quick motorized. This is why spreading these over time is not a good idea, because you don't really remember what you were working on. 50%, yeah, that's cool. Uh, infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. Two civilian factories. I don't have enough building slot. No, no. I can't do that one because I don't meet the infrastructure requirement. So we'll have to do that one. Although, do we want military youth? And that increases our recruitable population by 2%. I'm not really too, too worried about that at the moment. Um... So let's start with that. And I think we might create a few more divisions. Let me just try and get my bearing about what we're trying to do here. Alright, so we're building tanks, we're building artillery. Um, what are we short of? We've got heaps of artillery. We've got 19 tanks, I think, for every one of those divisions that we want to change over. We would need... Let's just have a look uh, to change him to this. We would need 180 tank light tanks, and the rest is yeah, the rest is normal. So I'm thinking we might need a second factory working on that if we do ever get one. Uh, we are creating more factories every day. Shouldn't take too long either. 16th of June. Yeah, that's only one month. So really, that's um, it's not a huge issue, but this 44 divisions, what I would need to do is sucker them in. Oh, now we're looking somewhere between 16 and 53. So we just have no idea. Um, what I really need to do is get this research. If we have a look at the research, uh, we need to get decryption to figure out how much they're actually working on. Okay, 
Mengu Mengu Kuku. I can't pronounce that very well at all. Has capitulated. So uh, yeah, the Japanese are actually not doing as well as I thought. They're um, they're not pushing up here at all. They seem to be pushing down towards the capitalist side of things. China can beat the Japanese back. Oh no, they've actually landed here as well, and here. So, okay, China is in trouble. Lots of manpower, but not a lot of um, ability to hold them off. Yeah, we really need... We've got pretty good ships, actually. So we will need to put them into this area here when we do want to go for the... Um, when we, If we do want to go after... Uh, Turkey. Now maybe, maybe there is a point to um, justifying a war goal on Iraq, and I'm just gonna uh, 37 political points. I'm gonna I'm gonna start it and see if I can get. Okay, there we go. Great Britain has wasted their. Um, wasted their points on that, but I am wasting my points on it as well. Now, I did test whether the uh, French would go to war over Romania, and they will. I tested it in um, a normal game, where I didn't have Iron Man running. Okay, we definitely need this, so let's run with that. we almost got synthetic oil as well, that's excellent, because I will put in a few synthetic oil facilities. One thing I want to look at before... Uh, it all goes is what is what do these actually do enables a refinery level one level two level three and level four i actually don't know what the difference is maybe they produce more maybe they don't i'm not 100 percent sure on that um, what are we short of munich agreement italy goes with germany so war is coming uh, it's a little late but it's coming oh they got the sudetenland as well that was quick. Uh, so France will be worried. Now if I can keep them occupied, I might have an opportunity to go after Romania. As long as they don't go with the... As long as they don't go with the Allies. Let's make five more. Italy joins the Axis. Oh, who is justifying on us? Italy is. Okay. Is Germany like me? Does Germany like me, sorry? Um, do, 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 do. What is their opinion? We like them, they do not like us. Yeah. It might be worth improving relations with them. And same with Italy. I know you want a piece of me, Italy, but I don't think you can take me at this stage. How many troops do you have? Oh, well, you actually have a lot, but a lot of them are in Africa as well. I know, because I played this. Uh, we've got our infrastructure effort. We probably do want our to try and rush our extra research slot, and that's another research slot. We don't quite have 50 factories, but we're very, very close. Um, infrastructure. I'm going to go with the civvy factories first, and then we'll push the other way. Now, how many tanks do we have? Do we have enough to do a division yet? Not quite. We need 180. And we are badly short of steel because of the tanks. Okay, um, let's ask Germany for some more. And they give it. Italy doesn't actually mind me. Does it actually tell you what they've claimed? I don't know if it does. Or doesn't show you what they've claimed. Germany has claims. No, it's just a bad opinion. doesn't show you the claim maps like it does on some of the other um, Paradox games, which is a bit weird. All right. Let's continue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make 10 more divisions. Let's make it two, and we'll set its location for Thrace. Now... Turkey, how many have you got? 26 to 60. They're really pushing. I really want to meat grinder them. 
military militarism yep I really want to go after Romania are they still are they still guaranteeing them they are it's a real problem I really need World War II to kick off so that these guys will uh, keep them busy okay the Germans like me now the Italians we don't like Italy but Italy loves us but um, oh, that's why they're fabricating on us because they've got this war with Greece going on Um, I think we're better off going with not that because none of that helps the guys that I actually have mm -hmm. now I'd say I wait until the allies are at war and then we go after Turkey because Germany will go to war soon first Vienna award so that'll probably uh, what does that one give that one gives the first Vienna award gives um, uh, German Reich is n uh, they own Sudetenland what do they get oh Hungary gets stuff it does give them stuff but I don't think it actually tells you what they get for it they get more, yeah, they get more uh, opinion with, with Germany, but that's about it. I think we're going to, I think we're going to cut our improved relations. Huh. Oh. thought we were improving. I'm not actually seeing it. It's not. Okay, weird. Where it's actually, um. I thought we did improve our relations with them, but maybe there's like a limit on how much it will do. Italy lays claim to my Greek territories, so... Alright. Um, what I'm going to need is I'm going to need that. And get rid of this, because I don't see us going after Romania right now. Yep, I didn't, uh, I didn't assign them to that. If Italy is going to come at us, it's going to come at us from here. Maybe I can join the Allies and use that to get lots of stuff from from the Axis. Maybe. Adds one infrastructure, adds one infrastructure. Yep, let's go with that. And what do we got? Modify government. We can modify. What are we going to go with? Electronics or industrial. Let's go with electronics because we're actually working on electronics at the moment. That should hopefully speed that up to what, 100 and. I know, it must have sped it up the second we did it. Okay, no longer get the reign of terror. Oh! We're at war with Italy. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, I cannot fight the Italian... Wow, this is this is a strange development. We cannot fight the Italian... Uh, uh, Navy? How are they winning this? They are trying to land with seven divisions. Okay, we're going to have to add that. Just to make them stronger. We've lost. They're going they they are going to get this. I'm gonna bleed them though. I am going to bleed them. But I think we're gonna have to leave it there and find out what happens with our war with Italy uh, in the next episode because Wow, this was this was completely unexpected. I was not ready for this at all. Um, and I think if we let them into this pocket, oh no, that's that's got a naval base, so we might need to fall back and then uh, pocket them and see if we can do it that way.
All right, guys. Uh, hopefully, thank you for joining me, and hopefully you enjoyed that episode. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. Down below, if you're new here, down below you'll find the subscribe button. If you subscribe, you'll get Fish Gaming videos in your YouTube mailbox every single day. All right, guys. I've been Fish. This has been Hearts Find 4, The Phoenix Rises. And I'll catch you next time.